Magu Zian Shu. Magu brings immortality, the way of infinite harmony, path of her holiness, Princess Magu, divinity or goddess of cannabis, Mary Huana. What is the way of infinite harmony? The way of infinite harmony is a Taoist system based on the immortalization of Her Holiness Princess Ma Gu, Goddess of Cannabis. Sending love and gratitude. Hey Tep, sisters and brothers. Welcome to Perinator Kemet. I am Professor R.T. Bates. And this is an introduction to the art of life. The fountain of youth and beauty. Science of immortality. And on this video, um, I will presenting or introducing the uh, meditations of this course. This is a uh, a course where you can a uh, live-in course. We have land where you can come learn for nine months. Um, you can take this course and be certified to become a consultant here on the internet, or uh, if you're here in New York. You can do the work study program and earn while you learn. So let's get to it. The first thing uh, that we learn in the Tao life or the art of life is meditation. Most people know of meditation as trying to turn off the mind. This is one type of meditation and it is a type of meditation that should be practiced. Because we think a lot, we daydream, we constantly, constantly using the thoughts, the mind. So the turning off medicate, meditation is, is simply like saving your light bill. You know, if you burn the light every day and every night, 24-7, it's going to burn out a lot faster than if you turn it off every once in a while. Uh, basically the same principle. This is electricity, bioelectromagnetic energy. But in uh, Taoism, we have what we call active meditations, where you're going inside within, but you're visualizing um, the different actions that are going on in your body. We, not, we try not to uh, consider yourself helping these energies. You're just opening the pathways more. So, in, in, in the book I, I put together, in the, uh, in the study guide for the course, um, actually I, the immortal meditation that I talk about is way more advanced than what I'm about to talk about today. Um, what I'm about to talk about right now is how we start out. Uh, we have three different things that we do. And these come from um, a person called Mantak Chia, who is one of the first people to introduce uh, Taoist yoga and Taoist immortal meditations and things. So uh, the first three parts in this course is, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, what we call microcosmic orbit. That's one. The six healing sounds and the inner smile. So firstly, Microcosmic orbit. For those of you not familiar with the word, 
micro means little, cosmic means like, like the sun and the moon, how they move around each other, and orbit, that's what it means, orbit, how it moves around. Now the microcosmic orbit is kind of a, a smaller version, yourself, of the whole, of the macro, macro meaning large or big, cosmic orbit. So we are just reflection as above, so below. We are the same things going on in our, within us that are going on in the whole cosmos. So we meditate on that connection, trying to connect it more because you hear the phrase, we're out of tune, duh. So the microcosmic orbit has basically two parts. The first part starts in the roof of the mouth, or um, excuse me, ends in the roof of the mouth and uh, again begins at the tip of the tongue. So we take the tip of the tongue and place it back. In our system we place it back to the soft palate of, of, of the roof of the mouth. And we call this uh, place the pool of chi. So this connects what's called the two parts of the microcosmic orbit. The conception vessel which comes from the tip of the tongue down the front of the body past the navel and then into the sexual organs and then back into the coccyx which is the lower part of the last part of the spine or the tailbone which they call it and this is called yin or cold uh, energy the conception conception vessel now the yang or, or hot energy, as I said, starts at the coccyx and comes up the spine and I, as I said before, ends in the roof of the mouth. And we call that the functioning vessel. So one is yang energy coming up the spine and, and it ends in the roof of the mouth and then goes down the front of the body. And this is what we call the cos, uh, microcosmic orbit. So how we um, exercise this microcosmic orbit is through meditation and through breath. So again, really the first thing of everything, as I placed on another video, on the breath video, is breathing. So the first thing is to learn to breathe back into the lower abdomen. So that's really the first thing. When you learn to breathe then back into the lower abdomen, it'd be much easier to focus on your meditation because you can calm the emotions and focus better, etc. All this happens with the breath. So that's the first part, is to learn to move that microcosmic orbit, you know, helping you along with the breath and some visualization. Now the second part is um, the six healing sounds. Now the six healing sounds are, are done in a low voice and it's six sounds that activate or vibrate the different sets of organs. So we have the sound like shh, sh, sh, like be quiet, <clears throat> like be quiet. And this sound, shh, um, strengthens the lungs, okay? We visualize a white color and we visualize the lungs. Now, when you're, you're, when you're activating the energy of the lungs, you're also activating the energy of the large intestines. So each organ has a sound, has a color, and has a, a opposite or a yin and a yang organ connected to that sound. So we learn the six healing sounds to give balance to the organs, to help the energy move uh, evenly between all the organs. For instance, if you're just say we eat a lot of sweet and sugar in in the western cultures so that puts a lot of energy and stress on the on the stomach and the uh you know the pancreas so this these sounds will help move the energy throughout the different organs so that's the second part and lastly the third part is called uh the inner smile pretty much like the meditations uh before except now we simply really we start out with this one to uh, help relax the organs. We 
take the eyes, for instance, to the heart and look down at the heart. Again, we see the heart in its color, which is red. And the heart is about joy. And we understand that too much joy, though, can, can cause the opposite. You understand? So a lot of people that, people that you see laughing and always joking and laughing, uh, a lot of times they might have weak heart energy. You understand? So it's not really good. Even joy, too much joy is an unbalance. So everything that we do is about balancing. And it's about, not about doing anything for the particular organs. It's about strengthening the organs so that they, so that they can work for themselves. Good example is people who take laxatives to make the bowels move. Now we have exercises like the rubbing, the stomach rubbing exercises and then herbs and things which strengthen the, the intestines so that the intestines move the waste out for themselves. Any herb, echinacea and all these herbs that you take to do things for the body, help the immune system and all that, they are actually, in the long run, going to weaken that particular system. So our system is about strengthening the body. It is not about doing anything for the body. The body heals itself when you give it the right nutrition, the right herbs, and the right time to take to meditate. So this is um, the Art of Life meditation. And I um, hope to see you soon. This is the, uh, in, um, the consultant instructor course. And head tap. Peace in the midst of adversity. Health, wealth, and freedom. This is the art of life. Peace.